Hey guys, this is Tim with Tim's Tech again. This video, we're gonna put, shove this hard drive into this computer, the Windows XP machine. What we got is Western Digital 320 gigabyte hard drive to give us more space on Windows XP. It's so Western Digital Scorpio Blue Drive. And how we're gonna, what we're gonna use to clone it will be this Hiren's Boot CD. And what we'll, what tools we'll need will be a Phillips head screwdriver. So stay tuned and let's get on with it. All right guys, we're gonna start with the hard drive change. First of all, what I'm gonna do is flip this thing over got to pull out the battery so nothing messes up first thing Get the two clips there's the battery down there and we're gonna find the hard drive cover which is this big one right here on this specific computer undo the Phillips head there. Set that aside. Pull that little cover off. You find the little great looking thing. I'm gonna try to get that out. You gotta push it that way. There we go. It came unplugged. And pull that out. With this step, you'll find all four all four screws on the side there, two on each side or if your computer has it on the back you'll find them on the back there this is that 80 gigabyte it came with 80 gigabyte hard drive there Toshiba drive it's really slow but when I will get this out and the new one in and then I will be back. Alright guys, I got the new drive swapped in there. As you can see, I put it on the same way I took it off. I'm going to shove it in here. Get it connected. Shove that back in there. Until I let that piece out, that needs to go under it. There we go. Put the cover back on. The way you took it off. Get that Phillips screw. Screw it back in. After that's done, you can put your battery back in. And there we have it. There's your hard drive change. Stay tuned in this video. I will be doing the clone on, on my Windows XP. Alright guys, in this portion I'm going to clone this hard drive to the one I just put in the computer using Hiren's boot CD. I put the old drive in a hard drive enclosure, plug that into the computer, and turn, the, turn the computer on, hit F12 until it comes up, get my boot menu. Now I can put the CD in and select your boot drive. 
And then we hit the second option, CD. There it goes. And hit enter. I'll come back when it's loaded. Alright guys, my Hiren's Boot CD here is loaded. I'm using an older version of Hiren's Boot CD with mini Windows XP on it. Just a light version that loads the CD and the contents. So, I'm going to go into the menu here and find the cloning program I want to use. We're going to try this one, clone disk. I don't think I've used that one. Let's go disk to disk. I'm going to set my source. I'm going to find the USB 3. And we're going to go to for the destination. We're going to go to the 320. That third option there. I'm gonna get click clone. Just ask me if I want to do it. Yes, I do. And it should be starting. Yes, I want to clone it. Well, that one's not gonna work for me. Alright guys, I'm on my main computer. I'm going to clone it that way after a couple fails. I got my target disc down there. Give me some light. Down there. And I got the source disc right here. I'm going to hit come down here. Select that. I'm going to clone. We're using Macrium Reflect. Select my disk. As you can see I got my source disk there, the 80 gigabyte and the 320. Then I click next. Schedule this clone. No, I don't want to do that. Next. Find a summary. Make sure I want to do that. Go finish. I don't want to do that. So cancel that. All drives will be overwritten, which is what I want. I'll continue. Oh, yep, we confirm it. And we're gonna start the cloning process. This may take a while depending on the size of the disk. Starting, as you can see up there. It's in the beginning stages, creating, this, creating a backup for it. Create a backup, then it'll clone it. I'll be right back when it's done cloning. All right, guys, the clone has completed. Mine took 21 minutes. Now I'm gonna take the, the new hard drive out of there and put it back in the 
Toshiba XP computer and then I'll, we will watch it see if it works together alright guys we're back with the Toshiba computer we're gonna see if this worked Toshiba That's a good sign. And this XP logo. Excellent. Good. I would say that's a success. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Share it. Until next time, we'll catch you all later.